So going into the second season of the Rings of Power, I don't know that I'm really seeing anything brand new. So I see that there's going to be even more diversity in the cast, which I don't know if that's good. I don't know if that's bad. Uh, I may have real problems with it if they turn Anatar into a woman. So that might be like a major hurdle for me in the second season. But I think fundamentally, there is no cure for the script through solely diversity. There is no cure for the script solely through diversity. Diversity in using, like, actors, the new actors as shields, or even old actors as shields, it doesn't really work. And... I guess sometimes it might seem like I'm being redundant, but I don't really feel that necessarily, for example, the people at Amazon have really learned anything from the first season. Um, to me, it just seems like they're just running still, they're running cover, and they haven't really improved anything, and I don't know that they really are going to improve things. Now, some of the detractors, they'll say, well, hey, if you look at uh, Jackson's uh, trilogy. There were lots of gaffes in every single movie. Um, yeah, there were a lot of gaffes maybe in every single movie. Um, maybe there were a lot of like permissions, poetic licenses, and some quite extensive that happened in the Jackson movies. Maybe that happened. But really, getting into that comparison is just running cover. Because it doesn't really matter what Peter Jackson did in the trilogy, to be quite honest. Because that's like a separate conversation. Using that conversation to kind of explain away deficiencies on the level of timeline, deficiencies on the level of acting, deficiencies on the level of dialogue, deficiencies on the level of CGI, some corny things that have been done on the set. Um, not really having a character arc for Galadriel, having diversity not necessarily used in a way that is consistent with Tolkien canon. Um, you know, I'll leave it there.